Finally, after six months of working and using all of Sam's more than 10 years of photo editing experience, Sam has successfully researched and developed FineArt's secret image editing software. Sam put the whole process into this plugin and from there it increased Sam's image editing speed by 5 to 10 times. In this tutorial, Sam will guide you to edit a photo that Sam took at Hang Mua Cave. At the top of the mountain in Ninh Binh. In order to take this photo, Sam and team had to climb a very high mountain and use a light to capture it. Use long veils to animate this photo with a dragon head. First, I will analyze according to the four-step process Sam shared with you. What is my first step? I will edit the subject first in this photo. And I will recompose this photo. Currently, the sky part is a bit more and the lower part is a bit less. The reason why Sam photographed this part of the sky so much. Because Sam shoots super wide angle. If you shoot the subject above, it is very easy to get distorted. So it's always shooting and recomposition. And the second is that I will see there are three color parts that I need to adjust. The first is this red. The second is the color of the sky. The third is the color of the leaves. That's the color part. And the environment brightness adjustment, I will make this dragon a little darker and the scene light up. I have no effects in this photo. Because this is a photo taken in the clear blue sky. Then Sam also rarely joins clouds. Because I grafted, these borders are not real, it will be fake. So you see in Sam's instructions all are cloud correction, not cloud grafting. Okay, I will start editing this photo. First I will create a new layer, by duplicate it. Then I recompose the photo, press the V key. Drag the picture up. I zoom out and I press M. I will select the selection from the base of the groom. I will drag the image down. I think that's long enough, legs are long enough. I started pulling from the skirt. The skirt can be extended indefinitely, but if the legs are too long, it will fake the picture. Then I finished editing the composition of the photo. Before, after. And now I will liquefy to remove the hand. This is Sam's hand on the veil. And my support friend, I'll erase this hand first. This one I will pull out by going to liquefy. Usually the liquify step does not have to be done immediately from the beginning. But in this picture I fixed the error, so I did liquify. Well, by the way, since I've opened liquify, I'll edit liquify too. I will squeeze. Squeeze your skirt all the time. The skirts on the rock are pointed, Sam will fix it to make it less pointed. Make it softer. It's not a mistake but if I can fix it, I'll fix it so it's perfect. Okay, then I check the liquify part again. Press B before after. Then after I have finished adjusting liquify, I will start to adjust to the subject's skin. This photo is very far away, so the actual skin part doesn't need to be adjusted. Because if you take a long shot, you can't see the skin. I just adjust the light and dark of the skin. Then I see that this groom is not as white as the bride. So Sam will first enter the white skin. Sam brightened the groom's skin a little bit. After that, Sam chose another white skin and Sam brightened the skin for both of them. Okay. 
Okay, now to the details. Sam will merge all these layers together. I will increase this shadow by selecting minus shadow. Before, after. Then the picture is brighter. Then, next I will deal with the color of this red dress. I will go to plus color cast, and I choose to add red. Just one, I think the color is very beautiful. Now how does Sam try one more? Try reducing opacity. It's a bit dark, isn't it? 30% okay. I will group these two together and I will check. Before, after. After that, I created a mask and I subtracted from the skin. I don't want her skin to turn red. So every step I always combine the layer to make it easy for me to check. Before, after. Okay. Now I will deal with the color of the sky. Then this sky color I will see that it is not very blue. So I will choose blue sky. Next one more. After I adjusted the two, I found it a bit dark. The second one is a bit dark, I will reduce the opacity. Moderate severance. Okay. Sam will group these two and Sam creates a mask. Here, this blue color always haunts the cloud. Then Sam sees that it's blue, it's not beautiful, so Sam will remove the cloudy part. Let the sky be blue but the clouds are still white. And erase the part it haunts the mountain. Then I looked at the histogram. I think this picture is also a bit underexposed. So now Sam will group this together. And Sam will increase the light, plus 0.3 stops, so I think it's still not bright enough, still not very bright. Now I add another 0.3 stops. Then the picture is bright enough now. If Sam wanted this part of the dragon it wouldn't light. Then Sam will scan in. Create a mask, scan this dragon, restore its shadow. And shirt. I will scan these parts of the dress. The parts where I want it to be dark, it's like I'm shading. Not a full scan. The parts one don't want it to light up, I scan in. The picture does not change the light much. You see before, after. Then always remember to check this histogram. To check the brightness of the photo. Okay, now Sam will adjust to the color of this tree, this mountain. Then I will group this layer together. I will choose plus color cast, and add green. Then its color is greener. Then it depends on your preference. You can leave this color as well or you can switch to this color. As for color, everyone has a different taste. I have already done the color. Here, color. This is the subject. The subject is me balancing the photo, I delete the trash, I adjust the dress. And after I finished adjusting the dress, I went to the color and I adjusted the color. And the third step is to adjust the brightness of the photo. So now I adjust the light and dark by hitting blocks. Then I will hit the dragon to darken a bit. Then Sam will create a new layer. Then it was me burn. Burn into this dragon. Burn a part of the skirt always. Here after I burn. 
Then next I want to edit here. When I adjusted to this dragon, Sam saw that this dragon is still yellow, it is not very beautiful. Then I can try by creating a new layer. Let's regroup first. Then I create a new layer. And now I choose minus color cast. It will be yellow or orange. Then Sam will subtract yellow first. This is minus yellow. Then Sam saw that it had removed the dragon's gold. Here's the golden stained dragon. Now I have de-yellowed. Here. Then I go one step further, I try to orange. To see if there is any change. Orange the dragon does not change. Okay, then Sam doesn't do orange. And Sam removed another yellow one. Now I will see these two yellow ones, it has already removed the yellow color on the dragon. Okay. Group it again. Next, Sam will hit the next block. Sam group layer again for you to see easily. Here. Now Sam will continue as Sam will hit the block. By choosing one plus detail here. And plus contrast. I go to the brush I choose detail. Then this detail part is when Sam wants something detailed and prominent, Sam scans it. The first is that Sam will scan all the parts that Sam wants it to float. Here you see, then Sam will scan these sections. Then you see that in these parts it will pop up. And Sam doesn't sweep into the sky, the sky clouds. Before, after. Continuing, Sam will create another detail. And now Sam will scan into these. Sorry, this is Sam messing up the hole. I choose brush. I choose to add detail. Now Sam will scan the parts that he wants to block. Want to shine. Here. Then these parts will stand out. Do you see? Those lines. And the dragon, I want to highlight the detail, I sweep it there. I won't scan the whole thing. This is an exclusive block hit from Sam. With this setting. You can hit up here. Before. After. Regroup the detail type. Before, the picture I saw was very blurry. After I typed the detail on it, I found it very sharp and very blocky. I can try one more brush that is plus contrast. Here plus contrast. So this time too, I'll scan in the parts one want it to stand out. Hit the block harder. You can also hit the skin. Before, after. You can reduce its opacity if see it too much. Then here is the block with detail and contrast. So I have completed the third step, which is hitting blocks. Change photo brightness. First, I will recompose the photo and edit the subject. Second, I adjust the color. And the third step is to hit the block more impressive. 